it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and uh, I'm back today on a weekend to uh, one week before the big wedding day. If you've been following me, you'll know that my son's getting married next week here at our home, and it's going to be quite exciting around here. And then we go off to Asheville for a week. So, trying to get some painting in. So, um, what I've got today is a cloud pearl pour I'm planning on using a uh, leftover scrap paint. I'm calling this my pearl green scrap. As you can see, it's got a green tone to it. Different, uh, different cloud pearl pores will leave you different colored bases. And what I did with this 200 grams that was in here is I added some bare 7400 this time, which is this one, and 20 grams. And then I added water to thin everything to the right consistency. So this is where we are with this. So this one here has got bare 7050, a tiny bit of satin enamel, and then also the 7400. So it's kind of a mishmash. I've never done with a, never painted before a cloud pearl pour with a solid scrap base. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. So this here is my Golden's Turquoise, which is this color. This here is Liquid Texas Cadmium Yellow, which I've never used before for a cloud pearl pour, but I needed something really sparky against the uh, that green that I've got. This is a combination of um, Modern Masters Bronze with uh, uh, Golden's Bronze. So it's this bronze from Modern Masters, and I didn't bring out the Golden Bronze. Um, this here is Modern Masters Gold with Golden's Gold, which is these two. This here is Golden's Carbon Black, very thin. All these are very thin. So here's the Carbon Black from Golden. And then last but not least in the lineup here is my Modern Masters Pearl which is like a staple, which is this guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the base prepared. I'm gonna put some of the artist loft on the edges and corners like I've done before. Get the base down and then we'll start laying down some colors. All right, I'll be back in a minute. So for the new folks, uh, thank you for subscribing. Share with your friends. And just so you know, this uh, Cloud Pearl Pour what we always do is uh, prepare the edges with a little Artist Loft paint to give the sides some grip so that when that thin base goes across it, it'll have something to hold on to. Because this paint, as it uh, dries in a second, or starts to dry, it'll become a little bit tacky. And uh, the Cloud Pearl base will grab it rather than be just kind of rolling over it. At least, that's what the word on the block is. <laughs> and I think it's true though. <laughs> when I say the word on the block, I'm talking about the other artists who do this technique and uh, discuss doing that. Okay, so that's all I do with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna lay my base down. So I'll be back after I lay my base down. I always keep a uh, little basin of water. It's just very convenient to have a place to clean your hands off with. All right, get some of these bubbles out. Golden. That's 
the Liquitex Brilliant. Was it Liquitex's uh, Chromium ye Yellow? All right, we'll go with some bronze. Do a little gold with that. Some black. And pearl. That's what we got, folks. Let's see some action going on. like that so far. Let's see what we end up with. Okay. Okay. These colors are working with this base. <laughs> way very slow about the way I go about spreading and tilting Sorry, I'm not off camera. back hard the other way and I'm going to tilt toward you so you can see what I'm doing. So as I look out in the backyard I see my future daughter-in-law putting up the arch for the wedding for next week. It's very exciting. Yes I'm doing that while I'm painting. I'm not paying any attention. Maybe it'll give me a good juju. Okay, now we go hard, tilt, hard. I like to get it to go in that direction a little bit too. Like I was saying earlier, it doesn't really matter so much about the uh, edges getting perfectly covered to start with because you end up spreading them out anyway in the end.
Oh, mm, I'm liking this so far. So the hard tilt back a little bit just to get some reaction on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because everything's starting to get a little wonky wonk. Okay, let's see what we've got here. There is a lot to do. There's a lot of opportunity on this guy. Okay, let's take a look up here first. Hey everyone, so I'm on a walk, so pardon the uh Puffy puffy. Um, so I'm looking at this and you know one of the first things I'm noticing is the really cool pearls on uh, both sides but mostly on the top right and I really like the way the composition flows from my left hand around and then back to the right again. I really like that but I do recognize that to make this a little more balanced I think there needs to be something in the space on both corners, top left, bottom right. And I'll, I'll address that in a little bit. And in this piece, I'm also using the straw a lot. And one of the things I do talk about in here is that with the straw, it's just like with the hairdryer. It depends on how you want to blow. You can blow it very sharply and push the paint really in a way to spread it out or you can blow it very softly and just kind of guide the paint in one direction or another. It just takes a little bit of practice to get the feel for how the straw works. One of the things I do enjoy doing is laying down paint and then using the straw to spread it out or to make it look a little more organic to the piece. In other words, having it a little more spread out and look a little more like it flows. So the straw can be a really useful tool for a lot of different effects. And you'll see I use it a lot during this, um, during this one. Obviously I'm double timing through here. And I think here I'm pointing out the top and the bottom that need a little bit of something. And so what I'm doing on the top is I'm laying down some of the, I started with turquoise and then I laid down a little pearl and then I think I laid on a little bronze and I'm gonna kind of blend them together up here for a very wispy effect. And one of the things I did point out during this, um, during this piece that was being voiced over now is that this is another one of these cloud pour, pearl pores. It's quite soft. I just love that effect. I love that very gentle, soothing kind of feel that the cloud pearl pour often gives. So, yeah, I'm just playing around up the top, and I'll be quiet for a few minutes, and I'll come back when I need to. And one of the things that really caught my eye right away with this piece, even though I'm using drippings from prior cloud pearl pores, and in this case, the green tinted, that's mostly, almost looks sagey, is that that golden turquoise and the gold and the golden's black really, really play well together in this. They just, just go together.
So on the top where I added the turquoise uh, bronze and pearl, the bottom I just added the black and gold to provide a little contrast to the top and also balance to the piece with the colors in the middle. So now that I've added those two wispies at both corners of the piece, what's capturing my attention at the bottom is I feel like the wispy needs to be attached to the edge because it feels like to me, in looking at it, it's just kind of floating there like in space and not quite grounded to the canvas. So what I'm working on here is just helping it blow to the edge to make it feel more attached and part of the piece. At least based on my eye, you know, my instinct, that's what's going through my head. And as you know, uh, I think it's valuable sometimes to explain what's the thought process so you understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and not just a random push of paint around. Now what I'm pointing out there is the whole center part of this piece I really haven't even touched. And to me, it really doesn't need a whole lot of anything because it's very interesting, appealing, intricate, and soft all on its own. I do play around with it a little bit here, but, but I feel what was really needed was just work on both corners. So throughout this, you probably notice I didn't do too much on either side in the middle where there's more empty space. While that sagey, light sagey base is right there, it does provide some color. Now what I'm doing here is I'm blowing into the pearls to try to make them more shapely and round and also conjure up some of the base coat underneath it to make them more interesting. where we are folks there she is if you can see it like this I'm low enough I like it different different for sure all right I just want to say thank you to everybody and um, if you did like the video please hit the like button and if you got any friends out there looking for something fun to do hit the share <laughs> and then subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope I help uh, anybody who's tuning in and uh, leave comments too, please. Also, um, if there's a technique you want me to try, let me know that too. All right, thanks everybody. Until next time, that's a wrap. <laughs>